Warning. Methanol is highly toxic and flammable, concentrated sulfuric acid is highly corrosive and can burn your skin, lab coat, gloves, and goggles are absolutely mandatory, the experiment should be performed in a fume hood or in a well-ventilated area. Today, we will synthesize methyl benzoate starting from benzoic acid, which has been previously made from toluene, as many other aromatic esters, methyl benzoate has a nice mint flowery odor and so it is widely employed in the perfume industry. Materials and reagents required 1.50 grams of benzoic acid 3.5 milliliters of dry methanol 0.4 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid First, the benzoic acid is placed in a round bottom flask in addition to a magnetic stirring bar, then the methanol is poured into the flask and the system is gently stirred. Finally the sulfuric acid is slowly added to the flask under constant stirring. A reflux condenser is then attached at the top of the flask, finally the system is heated up under constant stirring. The reaction taking place is a usual acid catalyzed fissure esterification. In this reaction the methanol is working as a nucleophile capable of attacking the electrophilic position of the benzoic acid upon the loss of a water molecule, the overall reaction can be described by terms of the following mechanism. You can clearly see how the system starts to reflux after a while. The system is let under reflux for about an hour, ideally we should check that the reaction has really finished by running a TLC, however I ran out of TLC plates, so I could not check it. The system is then allowed to cool down to room temperature, finally. We just need to isolate our product from the crude reaction mixture, to do so we add 20 ml of water to the reaction mixture and we carry out two extractions using 20 ml of ethyl acetate each. The organic layers are collected together and are washed with a 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution to remove any trace of unreacted benzoic acid present in the final reaction mixture. The organic layer is then dried using anhydrous magnesium sulfate. The system is then filtered. Finally the majority of the solvent is removed by terms of a simple distillation. Finally, 
I've obtained 1.30 grams of pure methyl benzoate, which represents a 81% yield. Notice that the final product looks slightly yellow due to the presence of an organic impurity in the flask used, however this is not a big deal for me so I decided not to purify it. Thanks for watching.